Hello for my friends, welcome to GDC English Classes channel. In this short video, we are going to discuss regarding the different mechanism of action of anti-helminthic drugs. So in the one of the video I already made on what is simply helminthiasis, what is simply helminth and what are the drugs for treatment of helminthiasis with the trick, video is already done. And now it is video on the mechanism of action of anti-helminthic drugs. So most of the anti-helminthic drugs are they having poor oral absorption. That's why they mainly concentrated, accumulated in the GID and effectively controls the helminthiasis. Effectively controls the helminthiasis. So here the list of the drugs along with their mechanism of action. First drug is albendazole, mebendazole, thiabendazole. All these are chemically all these are chemically benzimidazoles. These drugs acts by binding to the beta tubulins of the helminth. Beta tubulins of the helminth. And uh, so these drugs action is similar to the colchicine and plant anti-cancer drugs. So most of the plant anti-cancer drugs and as well as uh, colchicine acts by binding to beta tubulin and affects the cell division. Like here also this benzimidazoles affect the cell division of the worm that is it may be pin worm, hook worm, tape worm, whip worm, round worm, number of worms are there in the form of helminth. And especially by inhibition of this uh, binds to beta tubulins, especially by binding to the beta tubulins. So by binding to beta tubulins it inhibit the depolymerization of the microtubules of the helminth and that leads to depletion of energy source of the helminth. And next, uh, piperazine citrate. So this drug causing flaccid paralysis by GABA A agonism. So this drug agonizes the GABA receptor in the worm helminth. So GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter in the nervous system of the helminth and it causes relaxation of the muscle, especially relaxation of the worm muscle, helminth muscle. Okay, so when helminth muscle become relaxed, it leads to inactivation of the helminth, inactivation of the helminth. Especially next, pyrantal palmoic acid. It causes spastic paralysis by stimulating nicotinic receptors, especially stimulates the NM receptor, continuous stimulation. So continuous stimulation may lead to the spastic paralysis, spastic paralysis of the worm. Next, praziquantel. Praziquantel causes increases continuous influx of calcium. It causes continuous influx of calcium. This continuous influx of calcium may lead to the paralysis of the muscle of the worm. Paralysis of the muscle of the worm. Next, diethyl carbamazine citrate. It alter microfilarial membrane and increases phagocytosis. Increases the phagocytosis of the worms. And next, uh, niclosamide bithionol. So these are the drugs causes uncoupling of oxidative phosphorylation and inhibit the electron transport chain in the mitochondria of the worm. Decrease the energy source. Decrease the energy source. Next, drugs causing tonic paralysis by stimulating the ganglia. By stimulating the nicotinic ganglia. So, Tonic paralysis means decrease the muscle tone of the muscle of the worm and causes and causes tonic paralysis. Decrease the muscle tone, the force of muscle contraction in the worm. That is helminth. Drugs like levamisole, drugs like tetramisole, and uh, the anti-helminthic from the antibiotic naturally derived from ivermectinase, streptomyces ivermectinase. Example ivermectin. This acts by special type of glutamate, gla, glutamate gated chloride channel. So increase the influx of Cl- into the helminth. So increased Cl- into the helminth causes relaxation of the muscles. So for example, increased Cl- into the cells causes hyperpolarization. So hyperpolarization is the resting condition. Hyperpolarization is the resting condition. So this is simply 
the different example of drugs with their mechanism of action so directly if you follow this video you can easily remember the mechanism and you can easily answer in the examination also examination also so like this interesting videos and concept oriented short videos so subscribe to gdc english channel subscribe to gdc english channel okay thank you